All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Vinland Saga Season 2 Episode 21. Last episode was another masterpiece, another Peakland Saga episode. Um, unfortunately, we lost Arne Hayes. She finally got peace from this life. She got to finally be with her family and uh, even her unborn child. Um, which was a one bright side of that whole situation at least. Um, the war if you could call it that, is over. Um, Kettle somehow survived it and is now big retreating. Uh, Forfin and co, Forfin, Leif, Einar, everyone were making it back to the boat so they could sail off and eventually sail to Vinland, hopefully. But now Forfin is on his way to Canute, which I am excited for, to be honest. Their reunion and what they may talk about or what may happen. But yeah, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go right into episode 21 right now. Oh my god. It's like it, the, the anime is censored and it's still... You still definitely see it. Oh. Canute has his way of doing things. Yeah, true. Kanu is definitely a different era of king in this world. He's really trying not to be him. In some ways, in some ways he is him. Seeing the two sides of the story being basically the two main characters, which is Thorfinn and Kanu, makes for a very interesting dynamic. That's a fucking cool visual. That could be a wallpaper. Oh, back to Einar depression arc. God damn it. Oh, the detail on his hands too. Damn, everybody in this world needs some moisturizer. Trying to see what Canute's hands look like. He's back. He's come to his senses. What's happening? What do you see? People are fucking struggling here. Fucking place is covered in blood. Oh my god. No actual doctors as well. I wonder if Peter made it. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, dude. You're just not surviving it. It's just a painful fucking death at this rate. Kel's a fucking idiot, man. Fight for your farm and shit, but like, look at what you've done. You were never gonna win that. No. F oh, I thought I thought it was actually someone standing behind him with a fucking sword in their fucking neck. Jesus. Bro, he's just throwing up. <laughs> Go be with your dad. Everybody is fighting their own battle in this story. Almost not fighting much, but mentally, kind of. Please don't continue to fight. Nobody make that decision. Yeah? How about you shut up? No screen time, have an ass. Keep fighting, probably. Fogil snake. You do you. Don't let any don't let any other farmer on this goddamn farm fight again. Snake, why do you fight for these people? Wait, who? Oh, Ulmar. Wow, yeah. Bro does not need to be making this decision right now. He's going to be scared of his brother to say no. Please say no, Olmar. Thank you. Good fucking decision. Shut the fuck up, bitch. You go fight. Grandpa and Snake know the surrender is the, the only option. Thank you, Olmar. Jesus Christ. You know what, Omar? You should come to Vinland with us. Come on. 
Poor dude, not everybody's meant to fight. That is the correct decision. True. The king wanted it. He got it. Yeah, we did good. Wait, is he like trying to convince him to actually do it? Nah, let bro surrender, please. Well, he understands it. It takes courage to do what he's doing now, though. Snake's too loyal. Snake should be loyal to Olmar. Is Kettle lost his eyes? I ain't gonna see shit anymore. Oh. Yeah. Proud of Olmar. Where are you going, Eno? How is this going to impact it now, actually, now I'm thinking about it? Olmar is on the way to see Canoe to surrender. Thorfinn is also going for... To give in Kettle, I believe? What What's going to happen here? You gotta be there for your buddy, Aino. Who is this man? I love how Thorfinn keeps his cool. I, 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 I know Thorfinn it's not, doesn't want to fight, but I would love to see him dust this man. But look at him taking the high road. That's a man right there. Is that not a... Is that not something you should be telling the king right now, bro? Yeah, so relay this message back to the king, please. Oh my god. Why don't you just say to the king, do you know anybody called Thorfinn? Yes. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. What a fucking idiot. Is he being disrespectful? No. It's these guys fucking egg him, egging him on. God's sake. Did you get his name? Do you want to relay that to the king? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Forkel knows him as well. Oh, did he give him that scar? I don't remember that. Please say yes. Please see him. Fucking hell, bro. Is he scared of him or something? This is a different Thorfinn. What do you mean, yeah, right? Go see him. Why is everybody so stupid? Big man ain't got enough stamina. Running out of energy. You don't have to fight. Just, like, make him yield. Why did he let him punch him right there? What's he doing right now? Yeah. Thorfinn can take this shit. How many punches is he going to take? Up to the 90s? Wow. 100 blows. Holy fuck. Are these going to be like 100 blows to the noggin? Jesus, he's going to be fucked up. One man can change war. That's, that's what he wants to do. 
I see Thorfinn with his hair down. I cannot. It's just a different person. It's so weird. Like the Thorfinn we knew when we got to the farm, Aenor got to the farm, it's like, I can't remember him. Apart from him just being like in a really depressive state. This fucking OST slaps, man. Every time they play it. Oh, yeah? Can you guys even count to 100? Uh, eventually, this guy is going to run out of energy, so... Yeah, this might be this might be something Thorfinn can easily do. Holy shit. And the episode's going to end here. We don't even get to see the full thing. God damn it. Right, so that was another amazing episode of Vinland Saga. Um, I really, really like that. God, it's so fucking good. Every episode, like, I'm repeating myself every goddamn episode, but, like, it's so good. The story is so well done. I love Thorfinn. I love how the story is progressing. I love his growth. Uh, I also love it from Olmar this episode as well. Show him. He's, that's that's a true man right there. Accepting your weaknesses and being strong enough to give in, to surrender, to being the one that might may be made fun of or, uh, like, be cast shame upon by Thorgil and maybe Kettle as well. But he's grown into a true man and uh, he doesn't want to see more people die. The people of the farm will respect that. And it's the right decision. Snake would have backed them on regardless of whatever decision it was, but I'm glad Snake doesn't have to back the decision to go back and fight. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is with uh, Canoe right now, why he doesn't want to see Thorfinn. Maybe because he thinks it's the Thorfinn from back then. I don't know. I don't we, I mean, I guess we'll see, but like, yeah, it was a really freaking good episode. Thorfinn, I hope he's not going to be like beat to a pulp by the end of this. I know he can probably take these 100 hits. He's fucking strong. And like he said, he knows how to take hits, but yeah, a really freaking good episode. Definitely looking forward to the next. Um, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting rest of your day and peace out.